Hi, my name is Marcus from Market of Choice, and I'm here to talk to you today about making cheese and charcuterie boards. My first tip to you is to imitate. A whole industry has sprung up on Instagram and Pinterest around beautiful photography of cheese and charcuterie boards. You can take inspirations from these or imitate them or even flat out steal them. No one's gonna notice. All those little details that you're fussing over or don't look right to you when you're building the board, as soon as this board is done and full and bountiful, you're not gonna notice, they magically disappear. My second piece of advice is to simplify your cheese board by just starting with the cheese. You wanna pick at least three different varieties that offer a different textural or flavor experience. Slices, cubes, spreadable, uh, crumbles. This makes your board look a lot more dynamic and interesting. My final tip is there are no rules. One of the biggest benefits from social media board culture is that they've taken cheese boards from being stuffy relics to an art form that's way more innovative, playful, and culturally inclusive. So you follow your own palette and have fun with it.